never a doubt. We had that one all the way. And uh, we, we just tried to keep everybody tuned in that didn't come to the game. They were able to watch it on TV. And uh, what a fun game. I'm proud of our, our players. They played hard, obviously. And, and uh, you know, we were lacking a little bit. We lost a corner in the first quarter to a shoulder injury and had to play a freshman. And they went after him. And Houston did a good job. They, they took advantage of a lot of things. And, uh, uh, that went on after that, and uh, we blew a couple of coverages that shouldn't have been that close. But just proud of everybody, you know, seven straight weeks to win, win the conference, and uh, knowing we had to win them all, kind of like last year. Last year we didn't quite do it. This year we did it, and uh, it's hard to win a, a championship in major college football. I think this is five out of seven years, years for the Bearcats, and we do have a football team in this town, and I'm proud of it. And uh, we're going to get better and better. And uh, you got a lot of happy guys out there, a lot of seniors uh, last home game. And you've got a lot of guys that uh, after we lost our third game, seniors came in and slammed their hand on the table and said, that's it, no more. And uh, I think they got everybody's attention, including mine. So uh, uh, just fun to see success, you know, when you've had it first. And uh, wasn't pretty. Uh, proud of Munchie coming in, taking over. Gunner just cramped up at halftime, couldn't go after the first play. And uh, he came in, did a marvelous job. Some guys made some plays. Uh, Mike Boone, probably the MVP of the last few weeks, how he's played. And I didn't play him to midseason. That shows you how good a coach I am. So, uh, uh, you know, I tell you all, all the time, it ain't about coaching. It's about players. And uh, players overcame us many times this year. So uh, it was a fun day. It was really fun to see these guys with a smile on their face all throughout the game. They never thought they'd lose the game. Uh, I wish they'd have told me, but uh, it was uh, it, it was hard fought all the way down to the end. Question. You kind of joke about not playing Mike those first five games, but that did that do anything to give him fresh legs? Where when he did finally get his chance, he was, you know, yeah, you know, feeling probably, good? But if we played him, he wouldn't have played that much anyway. And again, the first five or six weeks he played on the scout team. Now he was he was getting a lot of reps. It just wasn't with our offense. He was running the ball. And, and uh, he probably had some fresh legs. But he, I tell you, he's a, you never find out about somebody until you put him in the, in, in the, in the light. And I tell you what, when the lights came on, we found out real quick people can't tackle him one-on-one. -on -one. And he made people miss, and he got some cute, crucial first downs for us in the last seven, seven weeks since he's been playing, uh, as Rod did, uh, as our offensive line block. But uh, our running game, has really been the difference in what we've done. We knew we could throw it, but uh, when we needed to run it, we were able to get some production out of the running game with our running backs and offensive lines. Obviously not the way you, you had it drawn up, but nice on senior night for a bunch of you to get in there and get a chance to help you close out a win. Yeah, that, it, you, you couldn't draw it up any better you know, for, for Munchie and what he's gone through. Uh, yeah, you know, I look up there and we've got an 18 point lead almost going into the middle of the third quarter, but kind of, I thought back to, to Thursday night and watched two other teams in our conference do the same thing and it came down to the end. You knew it was going to be like that. You know, they do a good job at Houston. They've got a lot of good athletes. That number one, uh, you know, what can you say? We we, we couldn't tackle him. Uh, and he got an open field and made a lot of big plays. And so he was exciting to watch, but we just got just enough and we weren't going to let him run the ball. And when they got the ball to the 13-yard line, we were going to make him throw the ball and uh, just see if he can beat us throwing it and he couldn't do it and we made some plays. You see, Gunner wasn't able to go even when he came back to the sideline? Well, he came out and, uh, you know, of course, one, one play and he just totally locked up. And so they bring him inside and IV. Then he come back out there and, you know, being IV, not knowing, the, you know, being in the game and being loose and all that, you know, we just, hey, Munchie was playing good. You know, if Munchie had been struggling, it would have been different, but we weren't about to take Munchie out. I mean, he was, he was on top of it. He was going to compete. He was going to make sure we won that game. And, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he did a, a lot of things out there that he hadn't done the, the other times we played, and it was just good to see him make those plays. What's it mean to you personally to win a league title? It's been a few years since you won. Yeah, 2004, 10 year reunion. Uh, been a long time. It's hard. There's a lot of guys that coach in this profession never never win one. Of course, I didn't have much to do with this. It. About the players and assistant coaches, they they did a good job. It's it's fun to watch kids win championships. You know, and I've been on a few. Been on some. Uh, several that uh, have done great things like these kids did here and it's it's more satisfying what me to be able to watch and listen to them and out there do what they're doing and celebrating and it is thinking about you know yourself I you know, I've been in this business a while I you know 
we know we're going to win and lose games, and we got other than other years. But those seniors out there didn't have another year, and so to win that thing, they can take that with them for years to come, and tell their kids about what happened and how we won it, and and I'm sure every one of them made the play, you know, themselves right there at the end, about 20 years. From now. You know, that's that's how it goes. They got to the quarterback pretty quick, early in the game. What was the offensive line able to do to? adjust and, and find some more time for the yeah, guys in the pocket. Yeah, we were trying to get the ball a little deeper down the field. And, uh, you know, we, early in the game, you got to find out what they're doing. And David Gibbs does a good job. And he switched after the first couple of drives. He just totally switched what he was doing in the secondary and made us hold the ball a little bit longer. And it took us a while to adjust. We got away from the running game. And what they did is, is they took another guy out of the box, put him in coverage, and we still were, it's like running through that wall. I mean, you're not going to be able to do it. So. We adjusted, we started running the ball on second and medium, third and long, and made some plays. And that's what you got to do, and you, you, know, you got to take advantage of what they give you. And sometimes as coaches, we, we get a little hard-headed. But uh, uh, again, I want to thank all these coaches. They did a good job and much maligned. All of us were after the first five games. But, uh, you know, they, they never lost their focus and confidence. You know, they, they're, they're professionals and players responded. And that's what you want to do as coaches. You want to see if they respond to you. And, Kids responded. That means you're doing your job. Do you have any more thoughts on which which bowl game? No, I think the Rose Bowl's taken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we, we you know, it doesn't make any difference. You know, it, it'll it'll be one or two or three bowls, and uh, we're going. There's going to be a lot of there's going to be some people left out that won six games, which is unfortunate, but it's the way it is. We, you know, we get to nine, and and uh, that's huge for us. And hopefully, we'll get a few folks and move up a little bit. And, uh, we had a lot of recruits here today. It was a great atmosphere for them to see, you know, there and there high five and everybody. And, you know, it always helps. You know, winning makes everybody feel good. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of people that's feeling pretty good right about now, knowing that there's no work tomorrow. We don't have to watch film. <laughs> and uh, we're having our senior banquet early in the morning because all their parents are here. And it's just it's going to be a fun night for the players and their, and their families. And and. Uh, a fun week coming up because they know they don't have to listen to me. <laughs> Thank else? you. Thank you.